There's no beauty in him. No, no, no man would desire him. He had no kindliness. He had no form. But now, now, amen, his hair is white like wool. Listen to what I'm reading to you. And here's John describing what he looked like. Uh, his hair, verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool, white as snow. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a fine brass, if they'd been burned in a furnace. And his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was the sun shineth in his strength. When I saw him, I fell as dead. You will too, buddy. Amen. Amen. You will too. And he laid on, on his, laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I'm alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, the things which shall be after, the mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hands, and the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars are the seven angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. You can be seated this morning. Ask you not to be up running around if you don't have to be. And I want to I wanna be looking today. Give me about 15 minutes if you could. I'll preach to you just a minute or something about a death. Amen. I want to talk about death just a minute. Amen. About what death means to you and I. What death really means to you and I. And now here John is seeing Jesus of the Bible said John was the only one uh, that didn't die. Amen. A, 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 a brother, he died a natural death. He wasn't martyred uh, like all the other apostles. But the Bible said uh, that he was here on this Isle of Patmos. He said, I, your brother and your companion in tribulation. I said, don't think this day uh, that the church of the living God were going to go through this world uh, without suffering a little tribulation. Uh, amen. But you've got to endure hardness. Uh, uh, brother, as a good soldier, uh, uh, you will have to suffer down here. Uh, uh, the Bible said offenses will come. Uh, amen. They will come. Uh, but old John said, well, I was in my tribulation. Uh, amen. I wasn't sitting on a beach. Uh, uh, brother had my feet propped up drinking tea. Uh, he said I was in tribulation. Uh, and it's funny tonight uh, uh, when you get in your lowest valleys uh, and your lowest times in your life. Uh, it seems like that's when the Lord, I likes to show you the rose of Sharon, that's a blooming in the valley, amen, the Bible said here in the word of God, that John said, I heard a voice, I brother a voice of many waters, I think about that, of the power that the Lord Jesus had, John said, I don't know how to describe it, I don't know how to tell you about it, but it's like being on the ocean, and hearing all the waves are roaring, and the power that it had. Uh, that was the power uh, that I heard when he spoke to me. Uh, and he said when he spoke to me, uh, he said, John, I'm Alpha uh, and I am Omega. Uh, I am the beginning and the end. Uh, hey, John, uh, I'm the first and the last. Uh, and old John said, I fell down. Uh, I brother as a dead man. Uh, oh, yeah, when you see the Lord uh, and the glory that he was. Uh, and now Isaiah described him like this. Uh,
just like Jesus had a white light for a job.
sin. History sin. It took five and six men had to hold the thieves down. Had to nail them to the tree. But when Jesus I laid down there, he crawled over. I reached out his hand. And said, go ahead and buy the nails.
had the keys. The devil still had the keys. The Bible said, you've heard it all your life. Let me ask you something. Do you want to hear it again? You've heard it all your life. Let me ask you, do you want to hear it again? Tell me one more time. And tell me one more day. Tell me how I died. Well, they beat him. Up to they, his vicious was marred. I'm more than any other sons of men. Uh, they beat him until the blood ran down his head. They beat him until his la his tongue uh, was laying out of his mouth. Uh, they beat him until his intercourse uh, had busted on the inside of his stomach. Uh, they beat him. Hey, man, wow! It's a hard task, uh, but I gotta get these keys back. Uh, hallelujah! Uh, but not my will, uh, but thy will be done. Jesus died and they took him and laid him in the tomb and the Bible said three days he done told them he'd rise again some of them went to Pilate and said we're afraid the disciples will come and steal him away in the night I send the guards down there to keep it from happening Pilate said make it sure as you can the first day he went by where was Jesus at Who is this that's covered with crimson? You know what the crimson? 
words, the blood that he shed, and the price that he paid. Hallelujah. I'd like to die right now while I'm a preacher and wake up in his glory and sing as I say I sing it. Obedience and command. 
on the profession of his faith in the name of the Father yeah. and of the Son yeah. and of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I'm going to take you back. Yeah. Stay back just a minute. <laughs> Amen. We'll stay back. Amen. Jesus wouldn't. Amen. We didn't, he didn't stay there. So I'm not going to keep David here. Right. He said, I'm coming back up out. Right. And as Jesus raised up off of that tomb that day, Dave's are raising up out of his tomb. Right. Amen. And now, yeah. go walk Hold in on. the newness. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 For the resurrection. Hallelujah. He's got the keys. He's got the keys. He's got the keys. He's got the keys. John saw him. I saw him. Walter saw him. Keith saw him. Did you saw him? Paul saw him. Clyde saw him. My daddy spoke up this morning. Said he's the door of the vine. He's the resurrection. My daddy saw him. Calvin saw him. Everybody saved the song. We went down to the river. We got baptized. We died with him. And now when we come down to die, we ain't got to worry about that. But well, we're going to die because of the mistake that Adam made. And I heard the writer say, blessed are they. We got to worry about dying. We got to worry about death having seeds on us. We got to worry about death coming to take us. I read in the book of Revelation that hell's got a rider with it. Death and hell go together. They ain't coming after me. I'm a, I'm a looking for my Lord. And they die just like Stephen went into heaven. Jesus stood up at the right hand. If you're here today and you're lost, would you come and be buried with him? Would you come and be buried with him? Would you come and be crucified this morning, letting the Lord crucify your flesh? Or come and walk in the news of life. He loves you today like no one else does. He cares about you today like no one else does. If you're here today and you're lost, I'll our place for me just a second. If you're here today and you're lost, you don't know the Lord, preacher. I don't know the Lord. I ain't a living boy, but I know one thing. I don't want to die and go to hell. Well, friend, the Lord don't want you to die and go to hell. He's never been a man suffer on at a tree like Jesus has, and he did that just for you. Just for you. Oh, if I could put it in your heart today and show you how much He loves you. He loves you like no one else has ever loved you. I wonder right now, if you're here today and you just ain't living what you need to be for the Lord, would you come and show the Lord your appreciation? Say, so, preacher, Jesus, I'm ready for a different life. I'm ready for a change. I don't like this life. I thought this life was more than the devil had it painted up. It was a good life, but it ain't no good life. It's torment. It's... It's, it's driving me crazy. i tell you what it is. It's condemnation. Condemnation, no matter which way you look at it. You see, under the glory of Moses, the condemnation was still there. But Paul wrote something in Romans 8 that blowed everybody's mind. He said, there's therefore now no condemnation. If you don't want no condemnation right now, would you get up and come? Would you get up and come this morning and celebrate the resurrection of Jesus? His blood atonement will, sat will satisfy your soul. You'll come. It's satisfied God. It'll satisfy you. Right now, would you get up and come? Right now, would you get up and come? Right now, while we wait just a minute, come to this old-fashioned altar while Jesus is beckoning into your heart. He loves you today with a love that's indescribable. I can't preach it to you. Nobody. I told the church here the other night, I had a question. My question was this. Did God love us more by giving His Son? Or did Jesus love us more by giving His life? And that was a pretty honest question. And then I sat down and Jesus spoke to me. As soon as I sat down and the scripture came to my mind, no greater love. Jesus loved us more by laying his life down than God loved us by giving his son. Nobody ever gave what he gave. Nobody ever did what he did. Right now, would you come right now, please? Our Father in heaven, they spoke here today that we love. They're dear to our soul, God. We want them to go to heaven. That devil ain't got the keys and he's mad. But he can't do nothing about the saints, Lord, that go on to be with you. 
I'm so thankful of that. Paul said if it hadn't been for that resurrection, we wouldn't be, we'd still be in our sins. But God, I want to beg you today for the souls that's here that's not ready, them that's got off the path of the Lord. Would you help them this morning to come home? Would you help them this morning to come home? I ain't got no words to say, Lord. If I could find them, I'd, I'd long for them. But God, it's going to take you. I ask you to help them today. Let them feel your love. Let them feel the, the joy that's in serving you. And God, let them come. And Lord, we you know we'll thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Our sir, saints. and be crucified to the world and let the world be crucified to you. Walk in the newness of your blessing. It's the best way of living I have found in my life. Would you come right now, please? Would you please come right now? Take somebody by the hand. Would you come right now? You don't want to be left behind. It comes in the clouds of glory you don't want to be left behind. Somebody walk in Sure. 